Gold and silver ETFs expand, ratio falls to 2023 low as stock market and Bitcoin rally at odds with US Fed. Gold held firm and the silver price rose against a weaker dollar on Thursday ahead of key inflation data, but both precious metals retreated against most other major currencies as the US revised down last year's GDP growth and reported a rise in claims for jobless benefits. Western stock markets rose and so-called cryptocurrency Bitcoin touched nine-month highs. Betting grew that the Federal Reserve will raise its key interest rate yet again at start May, but the U.S. Central Bank will then start cutting rates before Christmas according to 97.6% of futures contract positions tracked by the CME Derivatives Exchange's Fed Watch tool. Stated Fed policy remains at odds with what Fed funds it traders are expecting, says precious metal analyst Rona O'Connell, noting the clear anti-inflation stance in last week's Fed announcement. Ahead of tomorrow's U.S. inflation data expected by analysts to show the core PCE index repeating January's 4.7% annual increase last month, this is a massive week for economic data from the United States, O'Connell adds, and that has led to gold essentially trading in a holding pattern. As gold in dollars continued to trade above $1,965 per ounce while silver briefly touched $23.90 a new eight-week high the U.S. currency fell 0.5% on its trade-weighted forex index. Euro gold in contrast dipped through €1,800 and the UK gold price in pounds per ounce slipped 0.4% to £1,587, also trading at the bottom of the last two weeks' range. Silver also erased previously strong weekly gains for non-dollar traders outside of the Japanese yen dropping 1.8% for UK investors mid-afternoon in London to £19 and losing 1.2% in euro terms towards $21.50 per ounce. Measured in any currency, that put the gold-silver ratio, which finds the two former monetary metals' relative value against each other simply by dividing the gold price by the silver price just beneath 83 down more than 5% from March's previous daily average, that level of gold-to-silver ratio marks the lowest cost of gold in terms of silver since New Year. Silver's giant bullion-backed exchange-traded fund, the iShare Silver Trust yesterday expanded for a second day running, cutting its liquidation for March to 3.7% and needing 14,327 tons of silver to back its shares in issue. That holding larger by 6.7% from mid-January's 2.5-year low but still one-third smaller than the hash silver squeeze peak of early 2021 equates to around 56% of global annual silver mine output. Gold's giant GLD ETF has meantime expanded by 1.5% so far in March to need over 929 tons of bullion to back its shares in issue the most since mid-October, but the number 2 gold ETF the iShares IAU, has barely changed at 443 tons, its smallest since May 2020. Together, that put the size of the world's two largest gold-backed ETF trust fund products at less than 38% of last year's global gold mine output, and almost one quarter smaller than the record weight of late 2020, with only their fourth monthly inflow of the last year. While more than half of silver's end-use demand comes from industrial users in contrast to less than one-tenth for gold, Thursday's rise in silver prices defied a wider drop in industrial commodities, with crude oil edging back from two-week highs and copper slipping further from last Thursday's three-week peak.